After visiting the capital of Colombia, Bogota, I headed on a long bus journey to Sand Hill, the adventure capital of Colombia. I wondered if the seven hour journey would be worth it, but I knew this would be the place to check off another bucket list adventure and try paragliding for the first time. But boy, was I in for a surprise because there was so much more to Santander that I was able to squeeze in just three days. The bus journey, like any journey in Colombia, took longer than expected, and I checked into Trip Monkey Hostel pretty late, got to see my room, it was a private, which was awesome, and then head out for dinner before an early night because I had to go early the next day to go paraglide. Alright guys, so I'm here in Sun Hill, just walking to try to get some food. This is Main Square that I'm at, there seems to be stuff going on. And then I might meet somebody that I met over in Bogota and bring my food over there and they're just watching movie and hanging out. But yes, this is the main square and hopefully I can grab some food before they close and bring it over to their hostel. But yeah, things are pretty quiet here it seems like. I'm gonna put this away right now because we're coming up to the food. After grabbing some quesadillas at Gringo Mike's, it was time to have an early night to head out the next morning. All right guys, I just woke up. I'm here in Sand Hill. Now I'm prepared to go paragliding over the second largest canyon in the world. I have never gone paragliding before, but I hear this is the oldest company that I'll be heading out with. And I'm really excited to go try something new. I'm kind of nervous too, I'm not gonna lie. But I think that the reward is gonna be greater than the nerves that I'm feeling right now, so I am going to do it. Uh, but yeah, let's go and check out what paragliding in Sand Hill has to offer and breakfast because I need something to eat to fuel the day. Good morning, I'm here at Trip Monkey Hostel and I'm waking up early to a really delicious looking breakfast. I have some bananas on some waffles with Nutella, some scrambled eggs, tomato, and avocado. But I'm really excited because today I'm going with Phoenix Stream. We're going paragliding. I'm scared, nervous, excited, all these feelings. But I know that just like when I hot air balloon, I was really nervous before that when I did that in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You can check that video over here, I'll link it to it. But honestly, I am really excited. This looks so cool. We're gonna be doing it over at the second largest canyon in the world. And I'm really glad that Trip Monkey Hostel, they know the right people to go with. This is the oldest company in San Hill. So I trust that they're going to keep me safe and I'm really excited to go check out this canyon and see what this has to offer. I'm pretty excited, but let me eat first and then I'll see how I feel. So we're off to go with Phoenix Dream to go paragliding in the canyon. I'm really excited. These guys helped set it up. Thank you so much. And what is this? This is a buff. Uh, this is a <laughs> gift that I give you for all the people who do the paraglider. Oh. So it's gonna protect you for the sun, of course, and you yeah. have the monkey face with you. The monkey, yes, trip monkey. Right. Yay, thank you so much. I'm really See excited. Oh. Kind of nervous, kind of freaking out. Okay, let's go. So we're heading to Chica Mocha right now to do some paragliding. I'm very, very excited. Nervous. Uh, a little nervous. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm the only one going out there today, I guess, so that should be interesting. Later on, I may meet up with one of the girls that I just met at breakfast to go to the pools, which are supposed to be really nice in the afternoon. Just about to head off and do this. Finally, book a list item. Here we go. So we're headed to the canyon. It's a sunny day so far, and the weather looks really good. But yeah, we're just driving. It's about an hour from
I tried to use music to soothe my nerves and also take in the views, but I can't lie, I was really nervous. So what's your name? Uh, Julian. Yeah. Julian. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, Sarah. But yeah, this is my first time doing this, so a little nervous, but yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful drive so far though. It's nice. What? First time. Yeah. <laughs> so what usually happen what happens with the first timers usually do they I've been in a hot air balloon before. Yeah. It's good conditions. Oh wow. <laughs> So this is bigger than Colca Canyon. Colca Canyon in Peru? Canyon the river? Have you seen Colca Canyon? The Colca is it, the Peru. In Peru. Yes. Is Peru. this is the, bigger? This is second from the, the Oh it got it. Yeah. Nice. Santa the Colca is the canyon which Camucha, second or third? And this is number two and that's number three. Ah. Whoa, a hundred meters away. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Palo Blanco, a fly song, is in the Chicamocha Canyon in Santander, Colombia. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, somebody's gone. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How is the conditions today? Uh, today, in this moment, it's a little cold. Uh, we wait to the conditions, uh, the better conditions. Is warmer? The, yeah. Air. Yeah, warmer, because in this area, we fly with the thermals, like a bird, yeah? Like a bird, okay. Like a bird in, in the spiral. And we need uh, the, the floor warm. The heart to the Chicamocha Canyon, mm -hmm. we found two uh, countries, two little countries. One is Jordan, mm -hmm. and for this size is Cevita. When you go out to fly, you can see better. I was just about to go do this, honestly, pretty nervous, but here we are in the flight zone, and they're setting up all the parapets or paragliding things, and you see people way up over here. They're flying and yeah, just trying to get over a language barrier while I'm trying to do this as well and get over this fear. But now we're going to the safe zone to learn something else. So you put it on like a backpack. Okay. okay. Like a ba ba okay backpack. This is the safe po position. The what? Yeah, yeah. The position, position when you're running. Okay, you run. When you not don't feel the, the ground. The ground? What do you do? It'd be like, woo! I'm there! I'm playing with Phoenix Extreme. Phoenix Extreme! Okay. <laughs> After some failed practice attempts, we were ready to rumble and head off to try paragliding. Okay, these guys are also doing it for the first time and understand nothing about it. <laughs> I'm joking. But okay, alright, here we go. Ah. Wait. Thank you. Ah! I'm like, you will hear a lot of screaming probably. Oh, I don't know. To scream, yeah. Here we go. Here's to paragliding for the first time, the second largest canyon in the world, Phoenix Extreme Tours. Here we go. Here we go. They're setting it up. Which one's mine? Here's Jason, the assistant, the pilot, Julian. And what was your name again? Marianne, thank you. And Camilo on the camera. Here we go. Finally, it was time to get strapped in and call my mom. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> Bye, mom. I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hey, 
I'm about to go just like kind of freaking out. Really? And here's this. <laughs> Look at them flying. And before you know it, they told me to run and we were off. I know that looked easy, but here's a POV from a first person perspective. Oh god. Okay, what, what, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's cool. I've never done anything like this before. Where are you from? Florida. Yeah. For a girl who is afraid of flying, at least up until this point, and born on sea level, this was a major feat. This is so cool, but also scary. but he says it's all normal and stuff. I'm just here at a few thousand feet in the air and it's cool, but definitely a different experience that I never had before. And the canyon is beautiful today. So I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of, it's a little scary. Woo! <laughs> So we're here up in the canyon. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to. TVT. It's normal. Condition. through my blood in excitement I made it to the ground and I was ecstatic <sighs> it's good it's good yeah thank you sorry for getting a little scared it was good yeah it's my first time and I think this is so high up thank you so much <laughs> thank you so how, how long was it how long hi hi Yes, depending on the condition, it's possible yeah. 2,000. Whoa. Yes, 2, 2, two, two. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey everybody, I just finished doing paragliding for the first time, and I had such an amazing time with Phoenix Extreme and Trip Monkey also helped organize it. And I just have to say, for me doing this my first time, everybody made me feel really comfortable, even though when I was nervous and probably acting a little crazy, I had an amazing time still doing it. I think if you're on the fence about trying paragliding for the first time, you should definitely try it because this has been an awesome experience. Oh, <laughs> people are landing right now, but it was really awesome. Thank you so much. Finally, they gave us the option to head back or go to Curity, a cute town in Colombia. I chose the cute town, of course. What is it called? Uh, pineapple. Pineapple. Papaya. Papaya. Uh, and what is it called? In Spanish, in Espanol? Salpicón. Mm. Oh, thank you. Gracias. 
super good. Sapicon. Gracias. All the fruit. I love it. It's like perfect after the <laughs> the rush of going up there. It was like scary. Kiriti is a small colonial town located near Chicamocha National Park and has a beautiful plaza with a brick church of San Joaquin that almost looks too big for the town. There are natural pools nearby, which was the purpose of this trip. This is some thicky. They're dying. And they make everything from it. <laughs> I guess. I just leave them Off to the pool. <laughs> We'll have to get two, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting a tuk tuk. It's like 8,000 pieces, right? Oh, yeah. What was it yesterday? That would be fun if this guy could take us. Okay, maybe 6,000 or 8,000. Yeah. Oh, my God. Today's been such an amazing day right now. I'm at the pool, these natural pools where you can go jump in. Like some people go hang out down here, but there's b way better swimming hole up here. And then it looks like sometimes there's barbecue, food, whatever you want. You could take a tuk tuk here. That's what we did. And not only that, like it's just so beautiful and it's natural beauty and it's free, which is the best thing, unless you pay the 8,000 for the tuk tuk to get here. But now we're just chilling and stuff. But today's been a full on day from parapenting, paragliding over the Chimoku. Chica Mocha Canyon to now just hanging out and watching people jump from very high heights into this water. It's so awesome and I'm so glad that I came today. I met these guys yesterday and we went from dinner to the main square to hang out and then I ran into them today in, in the town so now we're just here chilling until the end of the day when we have to take the last bus at 6.30 back to Sam Hill. But for now, just chilling and enjoying the sun. After a very adventurous and eventful day, it was time to head back to Sun Hill and enjoy the evening, exploring a bit of the town center, as well as grabbing food. And that's a wrap for this video, but be sure to subscribe for next week's as we explore Barachara, a cute town that inspired Encanto. Also, let me know if you have any comments and questions, and be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a beat on my channel, and hit the like button if this helped you in any way. The bus, you didn't catch me.